Something else you want to consider when rigging your tractor is, and when you're pulling something like this that's heavy, make sure you pull straight up and down. You know how what the fall line is, if you to, to determine what a fall line is on a hill, if you imagine like a, a soccer ball, how it would roll down the hill. That's the fall line. That's 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 how you want to pull when possible. That way if you get into a bind or anything, the tractor's not going to uh, turn over on you. Now I can't pull on the fall line here because I'm pinched in between that log and I got two trees in my way and it is leaning down that way a little bit. So one thing I could do to mitigate that with the tractor, make it less likely to dump over, is, um, is to hook on the high side of the tractor. So I'll put this uh, clevis on here. Now what's it going to do, so as the tractor, as the pole, the load comes tight on this, it's going to put pressure on the uphill side of the tractor. If I were to hook this on the other side, it would put pressure on the downhill side, making it more likely that the tractor would turn over. So um, just know what you're doing and you know, just be careful think about it. But it's just one little thing you can do to kind of mitigate that, uh, that hazard. So that worked pretty good. So on traction, as you saw, it's hard to tell the slope, but it's actually pretty steep right here. That's asking a lot to pull that dead weight uphill uh, after, with all as, as wet as everything is. When you lose traction on a tractor or even on a truck like that, once you, once you get down into that mud and it starts to kind of buff out, get buff, buffed and polished, um, you're just gonna make a mess. You're not gonna get stuck. So watch that. Don't dig a big hole for yourself. When you get in that position, you'll notice what I did is, is I stopped, went forward, moved the tractor down a little bit, got on some fresh ground on some, on some pine needles and duff, and then got some momentum, made, kept the power up, and got that thing moving. Once you get it moving, you know, it doesn't take near as much effort. It's like a train, you know, you try to start pulling a hundred oil cars, it takes a tremendous amount of power. Once they're up and rolling, you can reduce that power. It doesn't take so much. So, this is good, we got it pulled up here. Uh, now we need to do a 90 degree direction change. So uh, I'll re-rig, I'll unhook, we'll change the tractor, we'll pull from this direction now, and we should be able to, to get it up to uh, our work site. Also notice how it did roll, just like we wanted it to do, by hooking it underneath as it pulled, you probably watched it, it rolled over. You can tell that it did because, well, where we hooked it now is on the side. And as we look down there, you see all of the branches and all the little nubs and things that we couldn't get to with our saw are now up on the uphill side. So that may have made the difference right there by rigging it that way uh, uh, of getting it up here versus not being able to get it up here at all. So let's, uh, we'll pull from this way now. While I'm changing the rigging out here, this would be a really good time for you guys to click up, click the thumbs up button if you enjoy these videos and comment. Um, that's all I ask of you guys is just to comment and click the thumbs up button. It really helps the channel get circulated um, so more, more folks can uh, enjoy the videos. I have not seen and ears have not heard the things that guy, a guy can accomplish with a tractor. I mean, it's absolutely an essential piece of equipment and for heaven's sake, don't buy a, uh, anything that's not four-wheel drive, unless you live in 
the prairie in Kansas, but in, in, the, in the mountain country, or if you need to pull or have traction, uh, or live in any sort of snow, don't even consider a two-wheel drive tractor. They're just, for me, they'd just be absolutely useless. And get a cab. <laughs> People ask me all the time, should I get a cab on my tractor? Like, yeah. Uh, even if you have to save up for another year to get it, get a cab. Uh, no question about it. Now I've got it where I want it. Let's see if uh, it might be too heavy for this tractor. It's a pretty good chunk. I, I'm a little bigger than I need to be. I could lop off a few feet. Uh, I was just hoping to get it all up there uh, to have uh, that I could pick and choose a little bit. But let's, uh, let me un unhook the choker. We'll come back from the bottom side and see if we can't uh, lift it up and just carry it out of here with the, uh, with the tractor.
Well, we made it. Nobody dumped a tractor. Nobody got their toes crushed. And uh, we've got it up here with uh, at the area where we'll start doing the work. Now I've got lots of room around here. And, you know, normally it'd be nice if you could just went, went up there and kind of grabbed it with the tractor. I, I'm just surprised how powerful that that uh, tractor is. That This is a big log. And I went up underneath of it and I was thinking, I don't know if it's going to lift that up there, but I got the balance point and then, yeah, no problem. That tractor would have no problem um, picking this up and moving it around. So uh, next uh, episode, we'll, um, uh, we'll build the cribbing um, and uh, start getting to work on uh, take a look at everything and uh, laying everything out. And, uh, and I'll, I'll try to use as many traditional tools as, as, uh, well, as I want to. <laughs> I don't have to do... Uh, uh, we don't have to uh, adhere to any um, any dogmas here. We can uh, uh, use the old with the new, and uh, and uh, keep those skill kind of keep those skills alive. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget if you haven't already, click the thumbs up. Uh, if you'd like to get one of those uh, Grand Forest Brook Small Forest Axe, I've put those in my Amazon star store at WranglerMart.com. I'll put a link to the heading. Uh, you might get a little sticker shock on that because they are pretty close to two hundred dollars, but and that's that's a lot of money. But it is. Uh, a beautiful heritage tool and um, if you're like me you'll forget about what you paid for it five ten years down the road when you're enjoying it and uh, to have something you can hand down uh, to your grandchildren or your um, or your son or daughter um, that's I, I think it's special it's um, it's a it's a, a really it's a nice axe all right thanks for watching we'll see you guys on the next next video